like a just voiding the dust storm, but it's the evening. I'm at day one Interbike Outdoor Demo Day, and I saw this bike walking around, but I didn't quite catch your name. What was it? Hi, I'm Brad with Nomad Cycles. Brad, Brad, nice to meet you. I like the I like the like logo you've got going in PDX, so right, Portland, Portland, Oregon. Yeah, totally. Yeah, great bike place. Thanks. Um, you know, I was just like, what is this thing what before? This thing? And, You've got, it, it's an electric bike, clearly, and then the battery was so compact, and you've got, it's obviously like a high power custom thing. Can you just give me the backstory here? Sure, totally. So this is a custom made bike for Phil Wood. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, Phil Wood and company made it. It was a downhill mountain bike frame from Santa Cruz. Oh, cool. Uh, they took the full suspension fork, threw away the triple tree, made their own, to fit the fat tire, huh. you can see they they made their own hubs here. There's 72 spoke hubs. Wow! Fill, what does right that there. do? Because it's so many spokes. Well, it's just super strong. This thing yeah. could this thing could come down a mountain literally, and and you could come down in one piece. This, Is that what these are for? Like video evidence uh, of what oh happened yeah. to the rider? <laughs> Uh, yeah, video evidence of shredding. Yeah, you know? for sure. And you've got one on the back. I love the little, the little arms here. But you were saying th this company has been around since like the oh, 70s Phil, or Phil something. Philwood is like one of the most respected bike part manufacturers. They've been making their own parts in, in America since the 70s. Um, super robust. This is the best built. You know, I love their wheels. Um, we're yeah. talking a lot of love. I mean, that's great for Phil Wood, but so what do you guys, what is the, the Nomad Cycles? So Nomad Cycles is an online store. We're uh, selling electric bikes and electric bike stuff. Okay. Um, and we also make our own product line called EcoSpeed. Ah. So EcoSpeed is a mid-drive. Uh-huh, um, yeah. Can you see that right there? Look at that. So this is our first foray into uh, a downhill bike. Can you give me the demo here? You can see, um, well, we got our freewheeling crank set. Okay. In the center of that is a white industries free wheel. It's a trials riding free wheel, the most strong uh, free wheel that there is. Uh, and that's also made in America. So normally that would be on the rear wheel and uh, it allows the wheel to spin without forcing the pedals around. What we did was we built it into the middle of the crank set huh. so that the motor can drive the crank set without forcing the pedals around. Okay. So whenever you hit the power, it doesn't make you Flintstone. Ah. Um, but when you're pedaling, you can pedal like a normal bike and the point is that you use them both together in a symbiotic. So um, I get that now, yeah. So it's free wheel, so you can be throttling it. And it, actually, can you, I don't know if you can lift can, the back up just... and... Yeah, look at that. That makes sense. Maybe this is like a super simple question for people who do the kits and stuff. But I, I noticed just all the, you kind of got like a chain tensioner in there. You've got one drive for the motor and then the other one that goes back to the cassette. Some really nice parts on this bike too. How much does this thing cost? Um, one of our kits is about three thousand dollars. Okay. Um, and you can add it. We make kits for all kinds of bikes: cargo bikes, uh, commuter bikes, pedicabs. Oh, okay. All kinds of bikes. And this is our first downhill mountain bike that we've done. Um, normally, we use a, a seven hundred and fifty watt system, with uh, and you use this little button right here. Where we let it toggle from seven hundred fifty to thirteen hundred watts. Okay. Um, on this cool. one, we rebuilt the gearbox, and we're running twenty five hundred watts through it. So like three wow. horsepower. Wow. Um, you know, when it's, when it's off road and you're trying to get up the trail or using it like a snowmobile with this fat tire bike. For real, yeah. Or on the sand dunes. Or, that would be so fun. Like oh, I'm getting my man. imagination is going wild. Yeah, right you could totally hit the ski slope with it, zigzag across the glacier. So it's you, like an off highway vehicle slash oh, go anywhere machine. Dude, could you imagine on the seashore right where the ocean meets the sand? Oh yeah. Riding on that from like Portland to San Diego. You could Jeez, do that. That's sweet. Know? That's um, awesome. Have you, I have, you know, the way you're looking at me when you say that, have you done that? Have you tested this? Does Phil uh, Wood know? No, like, I've not ridden this bike on that, but, <laughs> but I could, I could tell what it would be like, you know. This, yeah, uh, that's awesome. You know, or you could take like fire roads for a backcountry adventure. That's right. The off highway vehicle stuff. Like you just go for an adventure, but yeah, I love totally. that any terrain, any weather. Um, so what's your website? You know, if people want to learn uh, more so about that. So we're nomadcyclespdx.com. Okay. Um, and you could also look up EcoSpeed and probably find us through that. Is that your proprietary brand or what is that? I've yeah, heard of EcoSpeed yeah. before. So EcoSpeed is our brand. Uh, we've been doing it for years, uh, like 10 years. Um, and really we're, we're just bringing it to the public for the first time right now. We've made okay. 500 units so far. Cool. Uh, we've refined everything we've done. We make our own motor control system. We print the circuit boards in Portland, Oregon and do all of this, you know, wow. the build up there. Uh, we do all our own software. Does that mean you can fit different size bottom brackets? Because this, I think this is wider than... This one is 
special just for the fat tire, just for this bike. We built it custom for the Fellwood bike. Okay. Uh, so you're very capable, but in a normal kit, what size wheels does that uh, fit? You know, we can... We can mid <laughs> uh, what size bottom, bottom bracket? bracket. There yeah. we go. Uh, well, any, you know, 68, okay. 73, I'm 83, about. Um, or 100. We can do fat bikes. We can do downhill bikes. We can do commuter bikes. We can do road bikes. We can do folding bikes. We can do cargo bikes. Jeez. Um, you know, we, we make kits for all of them. We do even do recumbents and trikes. How much does this does an average kit weigh? Like if you're adding uh, it to about your bike? ten pounds. Ten pounds. So that's with the motor controller, the motor system, and the crank set. Uh, then you add the battery on top of that. This little battery is only six pounds. I like how compact it is. What you said, it's fifty two volts, 52 volts six, six amp, amp hours. hours. So yeah. yeah, a little less like capacity, but still the high power. Yeah. Okay. Totally. Yeah. Cool. It, this knocks it out, man. It, we probably could do more high power on, but we just need a little bit more time to test it out. Do you, speaking of testing it out, can I like chase you while you try it real quick? I want to see this thing in action. All right. Yeah, I'm going to ste steer clear. We can head over to the dirt or something. Uh, you want to go over the dirt? Yeah, I'll just run by you and I just want to hear it and like show what's going on here. All right. So should I do Take your time. Yeah, just right up there and we'll, we'll see what happens. Can't keep up. <laughs> there we go. Now we got the dirt. I don't want you to break it or anything, but it's kind of neat to see that suspension. And wow. Whoa, boy. <laughs> Doing the burnouts. Nice, man. Thank you so much. It's been cool talking with you and your team. See this thing online a little bit and you know, make something cool of their own. It just the, the design work on that metal bracket is really cool looking. Totally, yeah, and we built it all in Portland, all the machining and everything. I like that, yeah, the yeah. local. What's your role at the company? It's my company. You're the founder, or yeah. the owner? So uh, I was an employee of EcoSpeed. Okay. And I ended up uh, taking it over, and now I'm producing the EcoSpeed, and I'm also doing Nomad Cycles as my online store. Okay, congrats, man. Yeah. Nice to meet Thank you. you. Totally. Take care.